I wrote, the therapy seems to be working. I picked up my notebook, a hardcover diary that my sister left with a lot of other stuff before moving to another country. After opening a blank page, which wasn't very hard to find, I touched it, sliding my hands across the two pages white, cold freshness. I took a deep sigh. Am I ready to do this? I asked myself. The answer must have been a yes because now I am choosing the pen. I have three varieties, a cheap ballpoint pen, a black gel pen, and an expensive Parker blue pen that my mentor gifted me about eight years ago. I know eight years is a long time. I was saving it from anywhere in tear. I admired my mentor a lot and wanted to preserve that pen as a memento. Till I realized that it's no use keeping a pen if I am not using it, especially for something I love doing, writing. Ah, but the cheap blue pen. I got it in a pack of five pens which I bought when I first moved to this city. I was energetic, excited, and eager to write. I'd often call my mom, saying, I love it here. Staying alone without any distractions is boosting my creativity. I'm loving it, mom. I was writing regularly, too much indeed, and enjoying it. The pen's ink was finishing quickly. Bought a new notebook and pens. Hashtag writer's life was once my Instagram story. Whatever the story behind each pen, these pens have lived a nomad life for too long. They have been rotating their place, from their colorful DIY stand to the table, to my bag, to my bed, and back to the stand again. I often sat to write but instead went back to reading my older stories. I'd appreciate my work, and sometimes, I would laugh at it. Whoa. Is this what I wrote? Nice. But the applause soon turned into despair. Have I lost myself again? The flow of creativity that helped me find solace during the mental cacophony looked eroded. Writing, which I felt was my one true love, have I gotten bored of it, like lovers of seven years. Perhaps, we didn't get bored of each other. There had been a misunderstanding, a lack of communication, a lack of words. But... We both wanted to work on fixing it. Despite the dying connection, a growing distant feeling, we craved each other. We just needed a push to work on it. We needed to stop constantly wondering, what is wrong? Why is it not working? I wish we could go back to better times. I guess I needed some therapy. The therapy turned out to be reading others' published works. It also included working on writing prompts, and that I did. Today, the ink is finishing quickly again. I am excited to write again. Looking forward to type again. My brain is overflowing with new ideas and thoughts again. The cure is slow, but I can see it helping. The therapy seems to be working because I just completed a 500-word essay and am motivated to write another.